The first type of performers are the decliners. The decliners are those people whose performance and results get worse and worse year after year. They are hoping to barely coast to the finish line. The second type of performers are the status quoers. The status quoers are those people who say, I achieved 100 units of achievement last year. I am going to achieve 100 units of achievement this year. And you can count on me to achieve 100 units of achievement next year. The only problem is if a person is achieving now what they achieved last year, what they're going to achieve next year, that's an issue. They're going to fall way, way behind the rest of the group. The third type of performer are the strong performers. The strong performers are those people who say, I get better every year. Every single year I'm 6 7% better than the year before. And they just keep on improving. And then there's one more type. The fourth type of performers are the accelerators. The accelerators are those people who are constantly improving. Every day at the end of the day they say, what was my goal for today? What did I actually achieve? What did I do to try to achieve my goal? What worked well? What did not work well? What lessons have I learned? What will I do tomorrow to make tomorrow better than today? And they are getting better and better and better all the time. One time, I was on a Southwest Airlines flight, and I went up to the flight attendant and I said to her, what's it like to work at Southwest Airlines? And she said, oh, I love it. I said, really, you love it? What is it that you love about Southwest Airlines? And she said, well, I used to work at another airlines. And we would have meetings, and all the flight attendants would sit over here, and all the pilots would sit in the middle, and all the mechanics would sit over here. She said, at Southwest Airlines, we just sit wherever we want. We all have the same purpose. What difference does it make where we sit? And I thought to myself, what a powerful point she's making about teamwork and how a group of people together can build a great brand like Southwest Airlines. We all have the same purpose. What difference does it make where we sit? On July the 5th, 2006, my wife Barb and I celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary. So about three months before our anniversary, I came down to the kitchen one morning, and Barb was flipping through one of those glossy vacation catalogs. And she said to me, Dan, which picture do you like better, this picture or this one? You know, it's like going to the eye doctor. Is this better or is this better? So I looked at the two pictures, and I said, um, I, like, uh, I like this one better. She said, OK. <laughs> Three months later, I woke up. I was standing under a thatched roof with water up to my waist at a swim-up bar in Mexico, drinking a foo-foo drink and watching Barb do water aerobics. And I thought to myself, this is paradise. For the next five days, I am not going to read any books. I am not going to write any books. I am not looking for any ideas on how to accelerate results. I am just going to stand right here at this swim-up bar and drink my foo-foo drinks for the next five days. And then it happened. I noticed that Barb was doing water aerobics. My wife hates aerobics. And yet there she was pumping her arms and pumping her legs with about 50 other women, and I could not figure out what was going on. And then I looked a little farther over, and then I saw him. <laughs> His name was Caesar. Tall, dark, and handsome, Caesar was the teacher of the aerobics class. And whatever Caesar did, these 50 women did. The next day, we're playing water volleyball. Bunch of little kids, older adults, younger adults, we're having a great time. And I look back, and who's the coach? Caesar. The next night, we're at the hotel restaurant. After dinner, everyone is up and dancing with their spouses. We're having a great time. And I look up, and who is the MC? Caesar. And then it finally dawned on me what was happening. The reason we were all having so much fun is because he was having so much fun. The next day, we got the chance to talk with him. We found out that Caesar had been at that resort for two years. Now, assuming that he gets two weeks off a year and he works five days a week, that means by the time we got to Mexico, Caesar had already been there 500 days. But he had the enthusiasm of someone who was there the very first day on the job. That's another key accelerator action to improve our brand. We need to bring the same level of enthusiasm, the same level of passion to the 500th day on the job, or the fifth year on the job, or the 10th year on the job, as we had the first day on the job. 
There are ideas on how to accelerate our brands all around us, but we have to always be on the lookout for these ideas.